my number one advice to anybody playing D and D in general is to not be afraid of failing. It is a game, and some people approach games with the mentality of win or lose. And so when you roll a 20, you feel like you're winning. And when you roll a one, you feel like you're losing. But part of the fun of any TTRPG, D&D especially, is that failures, I mean, enough failures in a row, and yeah, it, that might be the end of your character, <laughs> but failures can be just as fun as success. And at no point has anybody ever read a book or watched a movie or read their favorite comic book or anything like that and been like, oh good, the hero of the story had no issues the whole time and just saved the day without, with minimal effort. That's not an exciting story. So as a player, just remember that when you roll those ones, when you flub the dice roll on your big acrobatics check and fall face first in front of the enemy, when you miss your attack and the enemy crits you on the next turn, those are parts of an epic narrative. Those are parts of an epic story. And if you play into those with as much enthusiasm, role-playing, and commitment as you play into when you roll a 20 or succeed, then you're going to have a lot more fun playing d and I think that failures and successes tell a much better story. My biggest tip, and this goes for players and DMs equally, is um, talk about the fantasy that you want to live with your character in your campaign more. When, when you sit down to make a D&D character, you're imagining an action movie sequence with them. You're imagining a dramatic moment in your head. Tell your dungeon master that. Because if you want that moment to happen, if we all know that that's the idea that you had in your, your mind. If you imagine, say, you're playing a valiant knight and your dream in D&D is to ride a dragon tell your dungeon master and maybe that will come true. And when we share what we like to, what, what we imagine, the fantasy that we want to capture, we can actually make that reality. And there's no harm in sharing those things with each other because we're still gonna discover them along the way. And it, it's so interesting to see that thing that you were looking forward to happening emerge in the game in a way that you might not have been expecting. And so I find that the more communication, the more we talk to each other about the stories that we are excited about, that we want to tell, the more we can actually live those out at the game table, but the more they happen in ways that surprise and delight us.